Hi, uh, Jenna here. Um, I decided to do a YouTube video today to mark the passing of a very inspirational and, well, an angel, a living angel. Her name is Norma Haltling, and she is the founder of SAGE Project, which stands for Standing Against Global Exploitation. Um, Norma began her life as an abused child, molested, raped many times as a child, went on to be a drug addicted prostitute, um, ended up in San Francisco, um, arrested many times, and she was able to pull herself out of that life and, you know, start a program for people like herself, prostitutes that wanted to get out of life but couldn't get away from pimps or um, young girls that were tricked by pimps into the life. Um, and she allowed a lot of women to heal through being counseled and um, and whatnot from people that had been through it. It's kind of like, I think, the beginning of the whole peer counseling thing happened with Norma. I'm not saying that was the founding thing that it started there, but it was one of the early earliest ones where we people realized that there's so much power for someone that's actually been through something to counsel someone that's going through it. Um, Sage Project went on to um, not just encompass and take in women that were ex former prostitutes, but also women that had, that had um, domestic violence issues, um, transgendered individuals that had both prostitution, domestic violence, just emotional distress, um, men that were abused and were prostitutes. And even in the last couple of years, have been focusing in the USA and abroad for um, victims of human trafficking. Um, in San Francisco, it's kind of a big deal. Um, there are several massage parlors around here that have um, children basically working in them that were bought and sold in Cambodia or um, other places like Thailand and brought over. And these victims, they don't have um, any idea where they are, no form of ID, don't know the language, and they're completely lost and, and captive. If they did escape, they would just be deported and then put back into the cycle again. Um, Norma fought to end that and to develop programs through the United Way and 211 to actually give these people, these victims, asylum here in the United States. Um, I'm a graduate of Sage Project myself. I um, I wouldn't be where I am today if it had not been for Norma. Um, when I met her, I was homeless and drug addicted, and um, she really um, she she really was there for me, and I just I I took the day off from work after I found out, and um, I spoke about this with the people that, all the people that I know, and I did some email blasts, and I thought, well, why don't I just make a YouTube video, and hopefully that this will reach out, and people will see it, and tell their friends to see it, because this is the person, you know, she it's not going to end up on ABC, Person of the Week, probably, though she should. I think she, she was once on Oprah, Sage Project was once on Oprah, but, um, She's definitely someone that, that needs to be remembered and honored. And um, I guess that's all I wanted to say. Um, if you're interested, you can look up further information about Norma at um, www.sfsage.org, sageproject.org. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you.